Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and I've been asked, how in the world do you put a box offset on the end of a complicated bend like this? How do you get this box offset on here like, like we did over here? See, this is a box offset going to this box right here, and that's a 10 degree bend, and that's a 10 degree bend, and you jump up 3 eighths of an inch to go to a box like that. So, the question is, how do you do it with, with this amount of conduit, okay? So let's say that you need a box offset at 32 inches. Okay, so you put a mark right here at 32 inches. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take my bandsaw And put this right back here. Okay. And I take my reamer, ream it out. Okay. So I'm going to put a mark right here at two inches. And I'm going to put a mark at four and a quarter inches. And the reason for that is the two inches is arbitrary. The four and a quarter, it will give you two and a quarter inches between the marks. And if you remember from previous videos, the multiple for 10 degree bends, that's what we're gonna be making to go to the box. 10 degree bends, the multiple is six, the distance is three eighths. Comes out to two and a quarter inches. So it's two and a quarter inches between these two marks. And you want to go all the way around. So here's a mark at two inches and here's a mark at four and a quarter inches. That gives us two and a quarter inches between these two marks, which is what we need for a 10 degree box offset with a 3 8 inch rise. Okay. So we've got the length correct. We've got our little marks there. You do this long enough, you won't even need those marks. So you go like this. Now you put your arrow right on the first 10 degree mark, okay? But before we get started, I gotta say, when you bend EMT conduit, you, get, you have to have on your PPE, personal protective equipment, hard hat, eye protection, gloves, long pants, safety toe work boots, and if you're an electrician, they need to be EH work boots, which means electrical hazard. Okay, so this pipe is at zero degrees. It's parallel to the ground. Your handle is at 90 degrees, and I got my boot on the bottom part of the handle, and we'll go right down to 10 degrees. Okay, then you can take this, you know, flip it around, whoops. It's a little harder to do when you have a long piece of conduit. Okay, so we put the arrow right on the mark. This this goes to zero degrees, and put your armpit. Keep that at zero degrees. Handle at ninety degrees. Okay, so we're going to go to ten deg degrees again. Yeah, check it out, see if it's looking good. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay. So there's your box offset. A 3 8 inch box offset right there. Okay, so it's a little harder just because just you need to handle uh, the pipe. And you see, this comes up this way and your four band saddle comes up this way, so that's correct. When you put it on the wall, it would go right to that box right there, okay? And this, this would go over the pipes. See, so that's all, they're all bent in the correct plane. <laughs> it's just a little hard to handle, but it's the, the same exact band. It's, it's not too hard. 
Uh, so I'll put links for different different kinds of hard hats. I got Klein hard hats, Milwaukee hard hats. Uh, make sure you get yourself a, a hard hat. I'll put a link for uh, different kinds of eye protection, different brands. And how about how about I put links for work boots this time? These are Wolverines, electrical hazard work boots with safety toes. They're not the steel toes. They're uh, another material for electrician. It's best to not have metal safety toes. Uh, first of all, they get hot in the summer. They get cold in the winter. And uh, it's, I think it's best to not have metal in your boots. So anyway, uh, that's how you do it. It's, it's not hard. Uh, just throw it on there. It, it's quicker than I represent it because I talked a lot. But uh, there you go. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.